But first, the Kremlin launching its largest air attack since the war began, and Ukrainian forces returning fire. President Biden saying that Putin, quote, must be stopped. News Nation's Alina Shirazi tracking the details. Alina, what can you tell us about this escalation? Natasha, good evening to you. Well, the war has been escalating overnight with Ukraine retaliating against Russia with missiles and drones. After a Russian strike, officials are calling the most massive aerial attack since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Ukraine hitting back on the battlefield. According to Russia's Ministry of Emergency Situations, at least 20 people, including two children, were killed in a Ukrainian air attack on the city of Belgorod today. And in Ukraine, smoke fills a once bright blue sky. Broken glass and metal litter city streets. Police and fire working to evacuate the injured and work through the rubble Friday after a large-scale Russian missile attack that killed at least 30 people. Russia fired more than 150 missiles and drones in Ukraine on Friday in one of the largest bombardments, disrupting a sense of calm during an otherwise quiet winter on the conflict's front lines. The scale of the attack confirmed what many Ukrainians say they've been fearing, Russia conserving their missile stocks for massive strikes. The Ukrainian president saying on X, this was the Russian scum's largest attack, almost 160 missiles and drones. Our warriors shot down most of them, usual Russian targets, over 100 destroyed or damaged private houses, 45 multi-story residential buildings, schools, two churches, hospitals, and a maternity ward. President Biden weighing in, calling the barrage a brutal attack, adding in a recent statement that it's a stark reminder to the world that after nearly two years of this devastating war, Putin's objective remains unchanged. He seeks to obliterate Ukraine and subjugate its people. He must be stopped. And the White House still urging Congress to step up and act in the new year to approve supplemental funding legislation that would unlock more than $61 billion in security aid for Ukraine. We know that Congress meets on January 8th after the holidays to see if they can, in fact, get a deal done. Natasha? Okay, Alina Shirazi live for us with that update in Washington. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.